How's it going everyone? Mike here with April 23rd, Merch by Amazon sales update. Uh, let's, let's jump right into the numbers. Uh, six, uh, not much to really jump into, but six it is. Six in the US and a bunch of zeros across uh, all the other marketplaces for a total of six. Now this is pretty much uh, the standard for uh, this week. Uh, not so much last week, but this week, and it's actually one of the the better days, uh, at least uh, in the last seven days. As you can see here, you know there were a bunch of uh, worrisome, trouble, troubling days, uh, and uh, I, I, that's pretty much how I would describe it this whole week. Uh, you know, it's not unusual. I, I've been saying this over and over uh, that you know this is expected for April, but for me. I really kind of when I was when I got teared up uh, to twenty thousand, I, I really thought that there was going to be a huge uh, spike in sales, which there was, of course. And and this is actually uh, the the monthly total. Actually, what am I looking at here? That's the last month. The wrong button. Let's go with this one here. Uh, the the month overall is still you know on track to be one of the better months since the beginning of uh, 20, 2020. Uh, as you can see here, but again, 2020 was a very unusual year and, uh, you know, I, I don't think I cracked 150, right? Not even 130. So, okay. So here's the first, uh, sale of the day, uh, but that's okay. Uh, so right now I'm sitting at 154 for the month and we have about, let's see, I want to be accurate here. So seven days left. So seven days exactly. And, uh, you know, this should add another, let's say if, if, if we're aiming low, another 45 to 50 uh, sales uh, until the end of the month. And then if we're being optimistic, if we're by some, you know, a magical uh, reason, it, it goes back to, you know, double digits, which was my last month's average, then it's, we're going to go over that 200, but around 200 is kind of what I'm expecting uh, when it comes to sales, which still will be an okay month in comparison to, to all of last year. It's, it's very easy to get used to better things, better numbers. And then for example, uh, when there is a slow week like this week, uh, you, you start to think like what's, what's going on that's wrong, right? But it's very hard to kind of say, well, you know what, this is still going to be one of the better months. It's going to be you know, what are the best six months in the last, what are we looking at? Like a year and a half, right? Almost two years. Uh, so, so when you kind of take that into consideration and take that perspective, it, it kind of changes things, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, uh, this week was, uh, what I would consider a terrible week, uh, six in the U S and, and, Again, I was pretty worried yesterday because uh, the sales started coming in pretty late in the day. Like it was very surprising. I think something like 5 p.m. I can't even remember. Maybe there was one random uh, sale earlier than that. Uh, but that's kind of how the, the whole week has been. And that's the feedback that I've been getting from uh, from a bunch of you guys as well. The thing that I wanted, so I did, I put out a video yesterday about uh, a bunch of designs that were rejected and uh, specifically the word neon. And I said that one of my best sellers, which is this one here, as you can see yesterday, I had two sales. Uh, the first word in the title here is neon. Uh, but what I actually realized when I started digging into this a little more after I had recorded that video was that, and I don't know if this is uh, pretty merch uh, that's, that's tracking this information because I actually didn't look at the, uh, the, the default, uh, Amazon, uh, dashboard, which I'm assuming is, is the same. Uh, but when you actually click on the product and it takes you to the product page, I did replace the word neon. So it's not neon anymore. For example, I think I use something like bright yellow or something like that, right? Instead of neon. So even though, uh, the title in pretty merch and including merch, uh, uh, their, their default dashboard product information, uh, is showing the word neon. Uh, I guess that didn't change, but the actual product listing did change. So 
anyways, if you're, if you're kind of going through your products and seeing words that you, for example, know that shouldn't be in your descriptions or titles, like uh, wood, gold, neon, I, I think somebody else mentioned a couple of more. Uh, even if you change them, they will not necessarily show up as changed in your behind the scenes product descriptions, but they will on the actual uh, page. Let's go into some of these numbers and then uh, I'll just mention something else quickly before I wrap up the, the video. So this month across all the marketplaces, I am at 182. So again, looking at, uh, you know, 650 to $700 in royalties at this point, uh, which is not so bad. And like I said, we have a uh, seven days left. And if, uh, if we're looking at this, the last uh, seven days, you know, that's going to add maybe another 150 uh, to $200 in royalties across all the marketplaces. Like this is this number here is taking the zero into consideration. So it's usually higher, which means that, you know, uh, I've been going for that thousand dollars a month uh, royalties. I, I might be close if, if we're kind of, uh, if we stick to this pace, I don't think I'm going to hit it, but it's going to be pretty close. Anyways, uh, that's kind of where I am. The last thing that I wanted to mention is this might be uh, the last, uh, at least daily video, uh, daily update video for a while. Uh, my wife, I've been, I mentioned this, is pretty much ready to pop. I think uh, uh, we're going to have a, the, the, a new kid in the next day or two possibly three. So it's going to get uh, pretty busy. And, uh, and then I'll have to see how I manage my time with these, uh, with these recordings. I, I enjoy these a lot. So I'm definitely even if if for the next uh, little while I do weekly or even monthly videos, like I said, I'll see how much time I have, I'm going to try and, and get them out to you guys just for kind of like reference point reference purposes. Uh, but but I think over the next couple of days, it might slow down, we'll see, I'm gonna I'm gonna record as many as I can. Uh, you know, for as long as I can, but I know that the, the day is coming when, when uh, it's going to get a lot more busy and, and this, this will have to stop at least for a bit. Uh, that's it for now. So, you know, extremely slow week, uh, month is still on track. So, so there's that kind of like conflicting, uh, those conflicting feelings and, uh, and it, it, this was expected for April. Now, let me just quickly look at, for example, what to, what to expect for, for May, according to some of uh, the, the earlier information that I have here. Uh, so it looks like, it looks like uh, chances are that, that we might see a decline, decrease in sales. And, and that's kind of how it's going to stay for, for at least the next couple of months. So basically uh, what I would have to concentrate on is, is really uh, kind of going through the products and, and making sure that the ones that I want up and new designs are introduced uh, and then just getting rid of the ones that are not selling. Uh, you know, this is, like I said, a pretty awkward time uh, in my life when it comes to this. I, I wish I, you know, I could work on this uh, every single day, all day long. But again, uh, you know, priorities and, uh, and I'll just have to kind of put this aside for a little bit, but I will never absolutely uh, stop working on this because merch is still going to be my number one priority when it comes to any of the of the print on demand uh, platforms. Um, anyways, that's it. Let's aim for that thousand bucks uh, in royalties this month and we'll see if we get it. As always, thanks guys for watching comments, uh, questions, anything, you know where to leave them and I'll see you soon.